Welcome to Level Up Awareness. Welcome to my second of the three-part series. I've got another one coming out most likely next week or the week after. And um, yeah, this one here, as you can see, the truth becomes clearer. So yeah, this this one is all about information and, and um, yeah, knowledge and, and you know factual information with links, plenty of links to go through and do your own research and make your own mind up because that's what it's all about. And um, yeah, for anyone that hasn't watched um, any of my videos, yeah, check out all my videos. Go have a look through. They're all about you know spreading uh, love and wisdom and just you know helping you level up and helping you um, you know personal any any kind of personal growth and things like that. So um, yeah, so getting into this one here, uh, I encourage you to have an open mind throughout this video as some of the information isn't told in the mainstream narrative and has actually been censored. I encourage you to make your own mind up, do your own research, but open your mind to the following information and stay with me if you want to learn more. With calmness, research, and an open mind, the truth about almost anything will appear. All right, so I just wanna go straight into the, um, I, I recommend watching my first video of this three-part series called The Truth in Plain Start, which goes 38 minutes. And with this one here, I just wanna go through roughly um, just everything that I talk over and basically, you know, starting from the top. So Bill Gates and the elite's depopulation agenda, which we're going to touch on in this video as well. But um, yeah, so Bill Gates' influences with the World Health Organization's agenda, being the largest donor. Uh, Bill Gates' Event 201, he was a part of the Event 201, uh, which was a coronavirus simulation program, which was done in October 2019. It's going to be in this video as well, so you can just wait for that. Uh, documentation that the term conspiracy theory was invented by the CIA in 1967. Um, yeah. That one there, you know, do you know, go back into that video if you haven't watched it already and, and check that out. Uh, David Icke and Dave, Dr. Rashid Buttar's claim that coronavirus death numbers purposely spiked. Uh, Dr. Rashid Buttar claimed that the coronavirus death numbers spiked to spread fear and propaganda. Uh, Dr. Rashid Buttar claimed that the coronavirus is a man-manipulated virus. And Out of the Shadows documentary, which is very revealing, uh, reveals mainstream media deceive and manipulate us. And the mainstream media, the elites, the Illuminati, CIA, and other political leaders are basically under the same umbrella and working towards the same agenda. They all get their little kicks, whatever it is. Uh, President Trump awareness that he claims that there's fake news in the mainstream media daily, so he's trying to make us aware. Like, as much as everyone, not everyone, but a lot of people don't like the guy, he's trying to help us, man. He's trying to make us all aware. Um, and, and basically President Trump, just a little bit more awareness that I did go into in this video was that he actually doesn't take a salary, doesn't take a wage, the guy's working for free. So just, you know, read into that as you will. Um, and the alliance named QAnon, uh, fighting behind the scenes for our freedom and our liberation. So we're going to touch on that as well in this video, guys. So that's, that was the truth in plain sight recap. This one here, I'm going to go straight into the pandemic. okay? So um, just a bit of a briefing of what's going to happen. So pandemic is a couple of things I'm going to review, and I'm going to go into a bit of a timeline of events, all right? So starting with the pandemic, this is an interview on the London Real uh, Freedom of Speech platform, which I highly recommend. I'm going to plug it in a second. But yeah, highly recommend watching this video. It only goes for 25 minutes. It's been banned on YouTube and social media platforms. You can't find it on many of them anyway, but you can find it on this platform because it's um, it's freedom of speech, a platform which they fund personally, and I respect that guy, legend of a bloke. Um, yeah, so interview with Dr. Judy Mikovits, who is a world-renowned uh, PhD biomedical research scientist. Link in the description below. Um, all you gotta do with London Real is basically subscribe, put your email in there, and you get free access to all their videos, which we'll get into in a second. So yeah, Dr. Judy exposed Big Pharma corruption, and uh, they reacted by putting her in jail to silence her uh, with no charges, which is crazy. Simply labeling her a fugitive from justice. Followed was a gagging order. And it's now over, so she can now talk, and she's actually released a book as well to spread the truth. Good on her, legend. Uh, Dr. Judy exposes Anthony Fauci, who is heading the pandemic task force as corrupt and has directed cover-ups in the past. Uh, he's been, Fauci's been involved in this game since like 19, like 84, I think it's even even more than that. So he's been in, involved in five uh, US administrations, which is pretty crazy. But um, yeah, again, do your own research. This is, this is Dr. Judy's information that she's given us. She goes into detail of how the spread of HIV and AIDS could have actually been avoided as corruption took place. She goes, Dr. Judy goes into the patenting of vaccines, copywriting vaccines for profit, ignoring natural remedies. So obviously, um, yeah, patenting vaccines so that people can actually profit from making people feel better. It's so sad to hear. 
Um, we know what's taking place, I guess. But um, yeah, Dr. Judy asked why Bill Gates has a voice now. Thanks for mentioning this, Dr. Judy. Uh, nobody elected him, no medical background and expertise. And Dr. Judy believes the virus is not naturally occurring and was very clearly manipulated, which, uh, yeah, thanks for revealing that as well. And there was footage of five plus doctors in this video exposing COVID-19 misguided protocols by the media, by the mainstream media, and by health organizations. So yeah, it's really, really good that these doctors are actually speaking up, you know, talking their truth and revealing um, you know, all, all these misguided protocols, which you know, there's just so much. You know, I mean, I can give you my opinion, but I, I'm, I'm gonna avoid that. I'm gonna try to make you make your own mind up, make you allow you to do your own research, to make your own mind up, to see if they're, they're obviously overdoing it. So doctors pressured to write COVID deaths for any death, literally any death, to increase numbers and make everything seem a bit worse. And hospitals receiving $13,000 for deaths labeled COVID. So they're actually giving hospitals 13 grand for uh, for deaths labeled COVID, which, oh man, after I watched this, I was like, huh? And um, 39 grand for ventilator deaths as well, which is, oh, it doesn't it just doesn't sit right with me, this. So um, I, I'm so grateful for Dr. Judy for revealing this. But yeah, good on Dr. Judy for exposing these secrets. Uh, much respect. and. I just want to, one, one more thing I want to add with this is a reporter slash doctor televised an interview in a video saying, uh, the reporter said, why would they want to skew the number of COVID-19 deaths? And the doctor said, fear is a great way to control people. Sometimes people's ability to think for themselves is paralyzed if they are frightened enough. And, and again, I, I actually just want to add this as well. It's not actually a part of this, but um, Elon Musk, if you like him or you don't like him or whatever, if you trust him, if you don't, but he was on the Joe Rogan show um, and I can put the link below, you know what, I'll just do it. Um, and he was talking about this, he was talking about the misguided protocols, and he was talking about, um, you know, basically, if, you know, he said, for example, you got hit by a bus, they'd label it as a COVID death. You know, this is the kind of thing that it's getting out there, you know, and, and for someone like him to say it as well, I'm happy that he said it to expose the truth. Uh, obviously, he's like Bill Gates, he's not a doctor, but at the end of the day, he's exposing the truth, and um, good on Elon Musk for speaking up. So we're going to continue... With doctors coming out and speaking their truth, could it be we have been misled by false death numbers to make this virus seem worse than it actually is to cause more fear? Well, there you go. Make your own mind up there, guys. Make your own mind up. All right, now it's time for Drop Show Media. Take us some questions. Uh, yeah, mate, down the front. What can we get for me? Uh, yeah, mate. Uh, if corruption is taking place, should we be worried and fearful? Remember, fear doesn't exist. It's a choice. So determine for yourself if there is corruption taking place, again, do your own research and make your own minds up, then use that knowledge to your advantage. Don't fear, okay? So yeah, no need to be fearful, no need to be worried. Let's just be proactive and, and find ways to make this knowledge benefit you, okay? And just keep watching this video because goodness is coming and goodness is coming. We just have to be patient with the world. It's, it's coming, okay? But let's continue, guys. Next up, I just want to touch on Brian at London Real. Uh, he interviewed... Dr. Judy Mikovits as well, which goes for an hour and 47 minutes. I don't want to go into this too much. I just want to read over it, um, basically, because just want to expose you to the fact that London Real is just amazing. They've got so much good content. We're going to get to that to the second. So Dr. Judy talks about measures all over the world to lock down citizens, discussion of the overdiagnosis of the virus. Dr. Judy talks vaccine injuries. She discusses the corruption in the vaccine world. Dr. G talks about the problem of giving healthy people a vaccine and discusses how mainstream media has twisted the truth of COVID-19, okay? So I just want to put that one there out there. And moving on to my main man here, uh, Brian Rose, legend. Uh, check out LondonReal.tv. Like I said, free subscription. He's got so much good stuff on there. Plenty of people that have been censored, like David Icke, um, he's on there. And even Kennedy Jr. is, is another good listen as well. Um, these people are exposing the truth. And you know, respect to them all and respect to um, you know, Mr. Rose for, for, for doing this for everyone. And we're going to continue. All right, I believe we've got another question. Yes. Uh, yeah, mate, me again. Uh, do you trust this lady? She's been in jail. I do trust her. After the research that I've done with her and after the research that I've done on, with many of these people, anyone that speaks their truth, they get put in jail. Oh, they get killed. It's crazy. When they go to a level where, you know, like, I guess like with her, she had a gagging order. I feel like if she had a, kind of defeated that gagging order and, and spoken up, she'd probably be dead right now. This is, this is real stuff. You know, they're, they're trying to keep people quiet to contain the actual truth, to make sure that they continually profit and, and push their own agendas. So I respect her and I thank her for her honesty and her determination and her strength for actually appealing. So thank you, Judy. Really appreciate it. Let's move forward. 
All right, so coronavirus patenting. So featuring Dr. Rashid Batar and an anonymous doctor. So I've got the link below. This one here, it only goes for five minutes. It's been banned and taken down multiple times, but I found this link that's live. This link here, um, yeah, it, it's obviously, it looks like it's pirated or whatever, but at the end of the day, they've got it up. I don't know how long it's going to be up for. I mean, the first time I watched it, I had a whole bunch more views, but now it's down to like nothing. So uh, I hope that by the time I put this video live, you can actually watch it. So anyway, so an anonymous doctor states that it's a weak virus, the coronavirus, and that strangely, it's easy to defeat. The anonymous doctor claims to have found patents for the coronavirus and the coronavirus vaccine. And the coronavirus patent is the US 2006257852. 7852 So this coronavirus, all right? So yeah, obviously, of course, I'm going to do my own research. You know, that's just what I do. So I went into this. I found this actual... Um, you know, on the National Library of Medicine. So I've got the patent right there and I've got the, you know, the link to it right there as well and patent inventor. And I kind of, I looked at the patent inventor and I was like, okay, I want to really understand what patent means. You know, there's all these people talking about patenting. What does it mean? So I dictionary, got the dictionary out and I thought I'd, I'd highlight a few areas for you guys. So a government authority or license conferring a right or title for the set for a set period, especially the sole right to exclude others from making, using, or selling an invention. An invention? And then, so I'll go a little bit further with that. He took out a patent for an improved steam hammer. Steam hammer sounds pretty cool. I like that. But yeah, so, and you look at some of the similars as copyright license. So, it's pretty crazy there. And then you go down the bottom, obtain a patent for an invention. An invention is not your own until it's patented. Patented, yes. So... I just wanted to put that one there out there for you guys. Do with it you will. And we move forward to basically, so that was applied for in 2006 and granted by a company called Chiron who sold it to GlaxoSmithKline. So that one there, I'm going to leave that with you. I don't really want to focus on that too much, but I want to focus on the next part. So coronavirus vaccine patent. So European patent, this one here is EP3172319B1. So this is a coronavirus vaccine. So this was applied for in 2014 and granted in 2019 by the Perbright Institute. So I'm just going to have that documentation on the screen as we speak. I'm going to have the link at the top there as well. So you can check it out, do your own research, you know, make your own mind up. And um, and then, yeah, we went, I went a little bit deeper with the Perbright. I was like, okay, with the Perbright, who are these people? And obviously... Rashid Batar actually exposed it as well in the video. So Perbright Institute is uh, basically Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation is a part of it. So here is some obviously documentation of it. So down the bottom you can see international funding and disease control agencies such as you know the WHO, the European Commission, Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation are the Perbright Institute's major stakeholders. So I found that very very interesting there. So. It was applied for in 2014 and granted in November 2019. November 2019. And we now know what a patent means for those who didn't know. So, look, come on, you know. Again, I don't want to give you much of my opinion. I just want to give you the facts so that you can make your own mind up. It's This is about you. It's not about me. So, um, I'm just trying to help spread the word of the information and the facts. So, yeah, the coronavirus vaccine patent is per Bright Institute. So, a major stakeholder, shareholder is Bill Gates, all right? So yeah, thank you, Dr. Rashid Buttar, you absolute legend. So yeah, follow him on wherever because the guy's a beast. The guy's just spreading wisdom and love and um, yeah, absolute legend. Could it be the coronavirus vaccine is already ready for deployment thanks to Bill Gates? Make your own mind up, it could be. But you know what, I wanna take one more question. Let's have a look, who we got out there? Yes. Oh uh, yeah, do you think the whole mandatory vaccine agenda, it's, it's, do you think it's gonna happen? Look, I feel like I've done enough research to understand that it won't become mandatory. So please don't fear it, as there's too many people that are waking up and that are already awake that are just going to be like fighting, you know, hook and crook to, to oppose this kind of mandatory stuff. So I feel like it's going to become an option. So if you want to have it, you can have it. But I don't think it's going to be mandatory. So please limit the fear. Fear doesn't exist. Remember, they're trying to push this negativity and this agenda upon you in the mainstream media for a reason. All right. So just don't fear it and just continue to trust. Trust the process. Okay, everything's going to work out. So just be patient. We've all got to be patient, okay? So let's continue. All right, so now for my timeline of events, all right? So this one here, you know, I'm just going to put this together and take it or leave it. So 2008, Bill Gates steps away from Microsoft. You know, he's still on the board, 
but he's stepping away just to focus on the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, just putting that out there. You can research that, you can find that. Uh, and the Billionaire Club met to discuss, as we shown in the uh, my first truth um, video, to discuss ways to slow the world's population. So just a quick one here as well. All right, so we've got in the top right corner, that cheerful looking chap. You can read that if you like, Prince Philip, talking about depopulation, far out. And um, yeah, so I've got the link there, link in the description as well. So this was in May 2009. So yeah, slowing the growth of the world's population. I don't want to read too much into all this, but yeah, the philanthropist who attended a summit convened on the initiative of, of Bill Gates, the Microsoft co-founder, discussing joining forces to, to overcome political and religious obstacles to change. So I just want to, yeah, highlight the discussing joining forces, all right? So in 08, he stepped away to focus on the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. In 09, he's um, discussing joining forces with this uh, billionaire club, yeah? So this is described as the good club, as you can see below. David Rockefeller Jr., um, you know, Warren Buffett, George Soros, these guys are, you know, big players, Bloomberg. So yeah, these are big players and um, obviously they've got their own agenda, which again, you can do your own research, but I want to continue. So that happened in 2009. All right, so February 2010. So Bill Gates invests $23 million in Monsanto, which is a GMO, genetically modified organism company. And let's go and have a look at who these people are and what they do. And obviously, you know, I don't want to give too much of my opinion because with GMOs, I've actually had experience with myself where I've done a bit of research. Um, it was about three years ago and um, I try to limit my GMO intake. But again, I, I, that's me. Everyone, you do you. There's, you know, Just saying, I'm just going to put this out there. Um, it's just curious that Bill Gates entered the, uh, you know, the agriculture, agricultural kind of industry. So yeah, five things Monsanto doesn't want you to know. So I've got all the, um, the links below, all that kind of thing. Uh, so GMOs aren't going to solve nutrition problems or feed the world. They're about corporate control and profit. So you can read this website if you like. And there's another one that I've put in the top right corner, which is actually the guy that, that you know, informed me about GMO, so thank you. Uh, link in the description, another great read, and he's got videos as well. The guy's a champion. And um, yeah, so I've done obviously a little bit of research into this, as I do. Um, and there's a guy that I spoke to uh, pretty recently, actually, and he said GMO seeds are patented, which I was like, whoa, this word just keeps popping up. A farmer can no longer use seeds from a prior year's crop, all right? So I found that very interesting. They must purchase the expensive genetically modified seeds from Monsanto. So monopoly much? So yeah, just wanted to put that one there out there. Again, do your research and um, just to make it easy for you guys. So the five things that Monsanto doesn't want you to know. So number one, GMOs increase corporate control of our food. Number two, GMOs don't live up to the hype. Number three, GMOs mean more chemical use. Oh, wow. G number four, GMOs and organics can't coexist. That's, that's not so good, is it? <laughs> and number five, the research is biased. So... See, the number five thing was with my non-GMO project guy at the top there. He was the one that he was talking about the, re the research was biased bad. That was his number one opinion on GMOs. So, um, yeah, again, do your own research with that. I highly recommend to research GMOs. I'm definitely going to be doing a video about that in the future, personally, it's giving my opinion. In this one here, I'm trying to limit my opinion. I'm trying to give you these facts to do your own research, to make your own mind up. So um, I want to continue. All right, so April 2010. Deep Pockets Bill donates $2.5 billion to the WHO Foundation, the World Health Organization. So, yeah, it's a lot of money to donate. So maybe he's got his own kind of, um, he's got his own shares and he's got his own say, his influence. So, of course, I had to do a little bit more digging, didn't I? Yeah, well, actually, someone sent this to me, which I'm grateful for. Thank you, Spiro. So, yeah, Fox exposes Bill Gates' influence on the WHO. So this is obviously, there's a link in the description and there is the uh, YouTube video link there. So... Just going into this briefly, it only goes for four minutes. Probably watch it if you want. Um, after US halted funding of WHO, World Health Organization, Bill Gates is now the largest donor. And he was crying poor, like, I can't believe the US is doing this. You know, it's just like, man, you own more money than the US probably, you know. <laughs> world's second, um, what is he, the world's second richest man. All right, so Bill Gates influences how the WHO operates. Corruption, question mark. Politico labeled him as the World Health Organization's doctor. I just thought that I'd put that in there as well because that was what was said. And uh, yeah, if Bill Gates wanted a policy pushed by who, bureaucrats would grant his wish. He wouldn't need much of an arm twist. He, he would get it. That's what this lady was saying. Um, Bill Gates has given 395 grants totaling 3.6 billion to the who. Wow. 
Um, Cheryl Shumley, Washington Times editor, claims Bill Gates basically bribed the WHO into them labeling the coronavirus outbreak a pandemic. And I remember, you know, Donald Trump was saying, you know, this isn't a pandemic, and then he got forced into saying it not long after. So I just want to put that one there out there as well. Um, all right, we're going to continue. So basically, I, I wanted to get that Politico article. I found it. I was just like, you know what? I'm not happy with uh, a reporter telling me this. I've got to do my own research. This is this is the kind of stuff that you wish you'd be doing, people. Really important stuff. So I found this article. Meet the world's most powerful doctor, Bill Gates. The software moguls sway over the World Health Organization spurs criticism about misplaced priorities and undue influence. So down the bottom, I thought I'd sneak this in as well. A bit sneaky, I am. A little bit sneaky. Um, some billionaires are satisfied with buying themselves an island. Bill Gates got... A United Nations health agency in Geneva. All right. Yeah, there you go, guys. There you go. So the world's second richest man, Bill Gates, through Microsoft, he dominates technology. Through Monsanto, he dominates agriculture. Through the World Health Organization, he dominates medicine. Okay. So he's got a bit of an influence in all areas. So yeah, we're going we're gonna to continue though. And um, actually, you know what? I, before we go any further, I want to go up to current day just for something that, that happened. I want to do this to you know, just to lower fears because you know after seeing that man, you know this guy is very powerful, very very powerful. But he's just he hasn't got complete power. Okay, we we just got to have faith that it's all going to work out. Okay, so this one here, this article here, plans to reopen. So U.S. Surgeon General Adams dumps Gates' predictive contagion model. So Gates, he weasels his way, and he, this contagion model, as we're about to see with what's going to happen in the next couple of slides, he found he weaseled his way to the top so that they were actually following him. Yeah, they were following this guy, but. As you can see, there's a little uh, circle of President Trump. We'll get into that in a second. But as you can see, so Washington, D.C., so April 13, in a stunning turn of events, Surgeon General Jerome Adams explained in an interview on live XM radio that the Coronavirus Task Force has effectively dumped the Bill Gates CDC WHO predictive contagion model and is now working with the real data. All right, so again, with the no fear, we've got to have no fear. This is all going to work out, okay? This is all going to work out. This guy is not going to control us, yeah? This is, it's just, it can't happen. We're, we're, we're much smarter than this as a, as a human, humanity. Like, we're, we're all waking up. We're all sticking together because together we're stronger. We must remember this. They've tried to divide us. They've tried to separate us in many ways. And that's what my third video is actually going to be about with their divisioning tactics. But we're all coming together. We're all kind of waking up to these facts. So, and we're lucky because... The next thing here with uh, Donald Trump being circled there, I feel like uh, I want to take a question about it. Should I? Should I? I mean, I'll put it out there. Do you want to ask me about it? Okay. Why is President Trump circled in red then, mate? All right. Well, I'm glad you asked. So he is the one that pushed for the dumping of the Bill Gates and who contagion model. He hasn't, he hasn't been a part of it. He didn't like it. He never liked it because he understands what's going on. So please, everyone, do your own research about President Trump. As many people don't like this guy, you know, and that's fine. Do what you want. I'm not, I'm not saying, I'm saying do what you want. You know, forever, for whatever reason, people don't like him. And hey, you do you. I get it. It's fine. But all I'll say is that I'm from Australia. I don't care about politics at all, yeah? I don't care. But do your own research. Follow President Trump on Twitter. He's exposing corrupt organizational figures, political figures, and is exposing the corrupt mainstream media like over there daily. Like, so just please do your own research, have a look into it, take it or leave it, take it or leave it. All right, so you know what? I want to continue on that subject. Let's go, let's continue. Yeah, so no fear, guys, no fear, please, no fear. We don't need it. So October 2010 now we're on. So Bill Gates in a TED Talk, who TED Talks, I think that maybe he might have even funded that, just putting that out there. Again, that's my opinion. Damn it, what have I done? That's my opinion. But again, do your own research. Uh, TED Talk mentions reducing overpopulation. And I've got a little, uh, you know, I thought that I'd put a little link in there as well. This is just the, basically the, the summarize when he talks about depopulation. Um, and there's a few comments there if you want to read them. Just wanted to put this one in there as well. And then next up, 2014, so a big jump. Former President Obama warns of a pandemic within five to ten years, all right? So, yeah, this is something that it's six years since 2014. And, yeah, he's, you know, he's, he's predicting pretty well there. It's not as if pandemics roll over everybody two, three, you know, to five years, ten years. But um, they do happen, I guess. But, um, you know, whether they're man manipulated or not is another question. But I just want to put that in there as well. Research Obamagate as well, because just to show that, you know, maybe he's corrupt. Maybe, you know, if you like President Obama, hey, I'm not, I'm not hating on him at all. I'm just saying... Obamagate's been tweeting like crazy on Twitter. It's been trending hard. So yeah, check on, uh, check out Obamagate. 
We're going to move forward now. So 2015, Bill Gates in another TED Talk basically tells us that an epidemic is coming. So Bill's not happy with the pandemic. He wants a big, he wants the big one, but he had to look, he had to settle for a, a pandemic anyway. So um, yeah, just want to put that one there out there. Um, and yeah, so his first TED Talk was called Innovating to Zero. If you actually want to find it, I'll put the link below if you want. And the second one as well, I'll put the link below. Why not? If you want to watch the whole thing. Uh, 2017, Director of National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Disease in the US, Dr. Fauci, who has been exposed by um, Dr. Judy earlier, you know, she's saying that he's corrupt, uh, said that no question that there will be a surprise, a highlighted surprise there, because the way that he said it as well was just, oh wow, you know, so a surprise pandemic outbreak in the next few years, I was like, eh, okay, that's interesting, all these people are predicting, 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 boom, so yeah, we're going to keep moving forward though. Keep making your own mind up though, guys, you know, read that information, digest it, like, a, like what I've got, I've got that make your own mind up there under the timeline of events for a reason, you know, I just want you to continue to make your own mind up, because you've got free will, it's your choice. Alright, so October 2019 now we're on, alright, so um, the Event 201, so this is something that I spoke about in my first video, the Event 201 simulation program that takes place. I've got that information on the screen. I went into it in the first video pretty deeply. Like I spent about like seven, eight minutes on it, which I don't really want to go into it too much. But long story short, it was a pandemic simulation that was organized in October um, by, you know, it was by the uh, John Hopkins Foundation and, and Bill and Melinda Gates obviously were involved. And um, obviously things aren't organized overnight, which was one thing that I wanted to point out in this video again, that who knows how long that actual uh, pandemic uh, simulation was organized for. He got it pretty close to timing, didn't he? Um, pretty coincidental. Do you believe in coincidences? But I just wanted to put that one there out there. And now we're going to continue to move forward to November 2019. So as we've done our bit of research about the patenting, patents get accepted for the coronavirus vaccine from Perbright Institute, whom Bill Gates and the World Health Organization are major shareholders of. All right. So you can go back and rewatch that part in the video. I'm not going to go back into it again. We've seen that. And um, so moving forward to December 2019, the first case of coronavirus in Wuhan. And there's so much about this Wuhan lab, by the way, that you know, apparently America donated $3.7 to the uh, to the research of, uh, of Wuhan labs and stuff. There's just so much details about this Wuhan thing. But um, and obviously with the, the 5G being rolled out there as well, which I haven't spoken about 5G much in this, but in my first one, I did a little bit. I'm trying to limit it because I don't really want this video to get taken down. But um, obviously 5G, come on, you know, again, do you believe in coincidences the exact same time that they're both being rolled out when everyone's locked down? Do your own research, make your own mind up. And next one here is 2020, Bill Gates steps down from the Microsoft board, pushing his global vaccination agenda. So, yeah, it's really interesting. This timeline of events was, um, yeah, put together with, um, with, with, with the utmost kind of, you know, I just wanted to kind of go into detail with it all and, and really make... Um, make a point of this to, to make, make you know, help you make your own mind up. Um, and anyway, so the next up is, uh, is me. So 2020 prediction, the corrupt get exposed and prosecuted. This is a question mark. This is something that I believe will happen this year. I really do. Uh, so I think that we must stay patient, have no fear and, you know, do your own research. When, when you do your own research and you understand about this coronavirus, like my very first video in this channel, like watch it. It's, it's about what to do if you do get the coronavirus and it's not that hard. You just like look after yourself, look after your immune system. It's like what you should be doing on a daily basis, which many of us are distracting and we don't do, but check it out. And um, if, you, if, you, if you want, but um, yeah, keep moving forward here. So could it be all these alleged corrupted individuals like Fauci, Obama, and Gates all knew of this coronavirus pandemic long ago? With a big question mark at the end of that, all right? So I want you to make your own mind up. <laughs> I want to take a question. Give me a question, please, somebody, please. All right, yes, at the front there again. If this corruption is true, are you sure we shouldn't be fearful? All right, again, back back with this fear. I'm really, I'm, I, I'm happy that I'm pushing this no fear kind of um, uh, message across. So do not fear anything. Be strong, do your own research. More and more people are waking up, like I've said earlier, and are spreading awareness to others to stand their ground. Like, look at me doing these videos as well. This is about spreading awareness. This is, it's all about spreading love, spreading love and information. So I'll go you one better and, I'll, and take it or leave it, but I can tell you there are good people working behind the scenes fighting for our freedom, all right? And fighting for our liberation. There's, you know, of course, it has to happen, you know? So obviously the media won't publicize anything as it's not in their best interest, all right? And I've done more and more research into the media and 
the more and more that I do research into it, the more and more I don't trust it. And the third, my third video is going to be based a bit about around the media, around just how we shouldn't trust the media. But anyway, let's continue. All right, now time for my favorite part of the video, QAnon. All right, so do some research into QAnon. Um, yeah, basically, again, I, I mentioned this a fair bit in the first video that I did about him. So yeah, Q's mission is to spread the truth of what's really going on in the world and he's fighting for our freedom. Uh, QAnon is revealing hidden truths about corrupt political and global figures and the mainstream media. So yeah, QAnon has been around for about three years now and he's basically, you can just see, like I've got down the bottom there, keep an eye on President Trump's tweets as his administration is linked to QAnon, okay? So, you know, the actual QAnon server which basically allows it to never get taken down. It's, it's a DOD server, Department of Defense server. So it's, you know, there's government involved, which is just, come on, you just got to put two plus two together, okay? So, um, yeah, so basically with QAnon, this is, this is someone that's here to help us. He's here to, to help us, you know, fight for, you know, freedom and liberation. And there's a lot of Q army out there. And uh, where we go one, we go all. And, um, yeah, so just... Do a bit of research, have a look into it, and make your own mind up. If, if you want to be a part of it, be a part of it. If you don't, don't. I just want to put that one there out there. So yeah, I've got the, um, I've got the QAnon, uh, obviously the, the website there, qalerts.app, and there's another way you can get in there. But yeah, check it out if you like. Make your own mind up. And some, some last thoughts here as well from me. So remember, fear isn't real. Fear is a choice. Fear is basically thoughts you create or thoughts that you are created for you by others, such as the news or people you speak to, maybe people that are a bit negative, you know, and, and they're a bit fear, you know, fear-based that are kind of giving you their fear. So just be aware of that, all right? Just, wanna, just be careful of which thoughts that you claim is your own, okay? So this is something really important. I've learned this for a couple of years now, and I talk to anyone that I speak to, I'm aware of where they're kind of coming from, and I'm just like, you know what? I'm not going to take that negativity on board, and I'm going to leave that with you. Unfortunately, I'd love to help you, but at the end of the day, you know, your fear is, is, no, is, not, is not required within me. I'm happy. I, I live in peace, you know? So, um, yes, yes, and, and I want to finish it with, yes, danger is real, but be calm, do your own research, and understand the truth, okay? So, yeah, very important, and um, I want to finish this one here off with just one last question. Thank you, please. Anyone? All right, can, I, can we get some, just your final thoughts on what to do in this moment? So in this moment, be wary of what you see on the news. Do your own research. Make your own mind up. Remember, you're doing such a great job in this strange moment in the world, in this strange time. You're doing such a great job. Accept that. Embrace it. You're doing good, okay? Stay strong. Be calm. Be patient. Have no fear. Help others. Help make others aware of what's going on. Remember, together we are stronger and truly can make a difference, okay? And most importantly, spread love to all. I love you all. Peace and love to you all. Please subscribe for more of these videos. I've got one more coming out really soon. I hope you liked this video. If you did like it, please give it a like. Peace and love to you all. I'll see you soon.